Hey guys, so today we have a lot to talk about starting off with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the confirmation by Ice Universe that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will bring a lot of innovative technologies like under display camera, S Pen support and second generation ultra thin glass. So this is very impressive and basically confirms all the key features that Samsung will offer with Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now with this, a lot of questions are revealed, like what will Samsung do with the plastic screen that the Galaxy Z Fold 2 has? And of course, considering that this is a second generation ultra thin glass, Samsung might be eliminating the plastic layer on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and using only ultra thin glass. And of course, the last of these features and most likely the more important one, the under display camera. This was a feature first rumored for the Galaxy Z Fold 2, though of course that did not happen. It looks like the technology is finally ready for August 2021, which will be the release date of the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, alongside this Galaxy Z Fold 3 leak, Ice Universe also explained what is a Galaxy Z Fold S. Now, in a tweet, there's mention of a Galaxy Z Fold Lite, Galaxy Z Fold 3, and Galaxy Z Fold S as a confirmation that these three devices will happen in 2021, of course, alongside the Galaxy Z Flip. And once again, we see that the Galaxy Z Fold Lite or FE is happening, and we also see a Galaxy Z Fold S. And as Ice Universe explains, it is a very similar device to Oppo's recent concept on a scrolling device or an expanding device. So as we can see, it is a normal device when closed, but when you expand it, it turns into a Galaxy Z Fold 2 when opened with a bigger tablet-like experience, similar to what the Galaxy Z Fold 2 does, except that that phone expands instead of folding. Now, according to Ice Universe, the Galaxy Z Fold scroll will not be replacing the Galaxy Z Fold 3s. Instead, Samsung will use the S Pen in the Galaxy Z Fold 3. However, the actual successor to the Galaxy Note series is expected to be this Galaxy Z scroll, which basically expands and when closed, looks a lot more similar to a Galaxy Note device. A few days ago, we saw a Geekbench score for the Galaxy S21 running on the yet unreleased Snapdragon 875. As we can see, in single score, it has 1,120 points and in multi-core, it scores 3,319. Now, according to Ice Universe, if these are the final results, then it is very disappointing and will be beaten by the Exynos 2100, which according to Ice Universe has a multi-core score of 4,000 points, which will be 681 points more compared to the Snapdragon 875. It's like Samsung and Snapdragon traded their roles and now the Exynos chipsets are superior compared to the Snapdragon chipsets. Same goes in the high mid-range to mid-range department where the Exynos 1080 is double as fast as the Snapdragon 768G and also surpasses the Snapdragon 865 Plus, even though it is a mid-range chipset. So Exynos team did a fantastic job with next year's chipsets and it is definitely very impressive the level of performance that they has achieved and in late 2021 this will be even more impressive when Samsung utilizes AMD's Radeon graphics on Exynos chipsets. So I hope you enjoyed today's pack video. Stay tuned for a lot more information in mid-range and high-end devices like the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Samsung's Galaxy M and Galaxy A series.